Maybe the most underrated skill set on the planet is the ability to simply ask for what you want. And that might sound insane, but hear me out. It is shocking how many times in life I've experienced radical success where others have outright failed just because I was willing to ask for what I wanted. For example, at one point during my journey to a million, I had somebody ask me to run ads for them on TikTok. I didn't know how to run ads on TikTok, so I told them no, but I turned the conversation around and asked them if instead of me running ads, if they would be interesting in having me consult on how to you know, make TikTok videos organically and get views that way. They asked me how much that would cost. I told them it would cost them $3,000 a month for me to consult on how to do this. But because I had read a book on negotiation, I pitched a second, much bigger offer for $10,000 a month that included me actually making the videos for them. The whole point of the second offer was just to make the first offer seem a lot more compelling. I didn't actually think in a million years they'd ever do a $10,000 a month package. That was just a ridiculous amount of money, and who would actually do that? But to my absolute surprise, they ended up choosing the $10,000 a month package. And my jaw dropped to the floor because that was a crazy amount of money for me to be making every single month. And I had gotten it by complete accident just because I had thrown the idea out there and essentially just because I had asked. Had I not pitched a $10,000 a month package in the first place, of course, I would have never actually gotten it. Another great example is my friend Taylor. As an absolute stranger, he knew me from watching my YouTube videos, and he reached out to me on Facebook to ask if I ever wanted to go with him and his family to Disney World. He didn't know if I'd ever see that message, he didn't know if I'd ever respond, but he asked anyway. And randomly, one day, weeks later, I did see that message and I responded. We started talking and he became a big part of our Discord community. He eventually went on to help us launch Obsidian's KYC program. And after us, over time, figuring out he was an absolute legend at what he did, he eventually took over and now runs Obsidian's KYC program. Before all this, he didn't have a job, his bank account was on its last leg, and he had no idea what he was gonna do. But because he took the time to simply ask for what he wanted, he now has his dream job, and eventually our families did go to Disney World together. Another example is a guy I know was like a super fan of the show Survivor, and really wanted to apply. He decided to ask a random person on Instagram he didn't know if they would film an audition tape for him. That person said yes and filmed that audition tape for completely free. And after he submitted his audition tape, it was one of the few that actually got accepted. And he got to fly down to LA and actually meet the Survivor team. And eventually he even did an interview with Jeff Probst over Zoom. And last I checked, he was in the docket waiting to be assigned a season to actually go compete on Survivor. All of that happened just because he was willing to ask a stranger on Instagram if they would film an audition tape for him. One last story. When I was in high school, I had this crazy idea of making these fake backstage passes for this concert I was going to. After I'd done a lot of the work making these fake backstage passes on Photoshop, I really wanted them to look legit. So I asked my high school librarian if they would help me forge fake backstage passes. Not only did she help, but the entire librarian staff started helping me with this project. They would even some days call me out of class so that we could work on forging these fake backstage passes. When time for the actual concert came, the passes actually ended up working and me and my friends were able to get backstage for the concert pretending to be volunteer stage crew. We got to help set up some of the equipment, hang out with the bands, and even got to watch the concert on stage while all of our other friends were in the nosebleed section. And at one point, we even got asked by security to guard the backstage door, and they said, just make sure nobody comes back who isn't wearing one of these wristbands. And then they kind of looked us up and down and realized we weren't wearing wristbands and said, or I guess whatever that thing is you're wearing. It was a memory that me and my friends will never forget. All because I was willing to ask my high school librarian for some help. And it seems so obvious, right? But it's surprising how many people have something that they want, but they never get up the courage to actually go ask for it. Maybe it's a job they want, or they feel like they deserve a raise, or it's a business deal. Or maybe it's someone they want to ask out, or a long shot dream they've always had, but have been too afraid of rejection to actually go for. So many people underestimate how powerful simply asking for what you want can be. To me, it's like cheat codes for life. And if you look around at some of the most successful people you know, I'm willing to bet that they're likely the type of person who is never afraid to ask for what they want. Most people, however, are so afraid of getting turned down, they're so afraid of rejection that they never actually ask in the first place. They don't know the opportunities they might have because they never even ask. Ask yourself, have you ever needed help from a stranger? Have you ever needed to borrow someone's phone to make a call? 
Or have you ever had to ask for directions or ask a favor of someone? You likely hesitated to do these things expecting the worst. But why? Why do we fear asking for the things we want so much? Why is it terrifying to ask for a raise or ask for the deal you want or ask someone out? In reality, the worst they can say is no. For some reason, you make it seem more terrifying in your mind than it really is. If you go ask a stranger to borrow their phone, the worst they can say is no. And even if you made a complete fool of yourself, they'll likely forget that you even exist or that that happened in the next five to 10 minutes. People in their heads act as if they're somehow tarnishing some perfect record, when in fact the only person who's likely to remember the rejection is you. The truth is a lot of people just have self-esteem issues and don't feel like they're worth someone else's time. These kind of people are usually happy to get whatever they can, even if that's not actually what they want. And I know this so well because I was definitely one of those kind of people. These kind of people will settle for an average job, average pay, and an average life instead of what they really want. All because they're afraid to ask and they're afraid of rejection. And a big problem that reinforces this issue is that during the rare times that people get up the courage to actually ask for what they want, they're usually so nervous and they lack such confidence that they stumble over their words and they usually end up failing. And they usually end up failing because the other person senses their discomfort and their lack of confidence. Because to ask well, you need to have confidence expecting you'll succeed, not fail. Confidence is a key factor in learning how to ask well. People can sense when you're uncomfortable and it makes them feel uncomfortable. And when you lack confidence in what you're asking for, the other person will assume that something's wrong with the deal. Confidence, by contrast, communicates that you feel like the deal is good and normal. And because you feel like that, they're more likely to feel like that as well. When I needed money during my first week on my journey to a million, I asked a random telemarketer for $800. But when I asked, I asked with confidence and conviction. And I did that because I felt like it was my only shot to actually hit my goal for the week. And even though it was an entirely strange request and it's not at all normal when somebody cold calls you as a telemarketer to ask them for money, they ended up saying yes. And there is no way that that would have happened had I not asked in the first place and had I not asked with confidence and conviction. And that small win at the start of my journey was the foundation of my success and eventually led to me finally hitting my million dollar goal. Realize that you are creating the fear around asking for what you want. It's not real. And the odds of you actually getting what you want go up exponentially by you simply having the courage to ask for what you really want. And people who hone this skill set are 100% guaranteed to be more likely to succeed and get what they want than those who don't. Because in order to succeed at anything, you have to first try. And in order to get what you really want, you have to learn to first ask and get over your fear of rejection. If this video is helpful, make sure to hit that like button. If you have any questions or comments or want to add to this, let me know in the comments below. And if you want to see more videos like this, make sure to hit that subscribe button and make sure to also hit the little bell to be notified each time I release a video. If you don't hit the bell, then you won't actually get a notification each time I release a video. But by hitting the bell, that allows YouTube to kind of like send you a quick notification each time I upload and publish a video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next week.